All right, first of all, please pardon the absolute disaster. Um, this is gonna be a super quick one. I have a Geiger counter with a pancake probe, and we have a vacuum pump. Uh, this is a two-stage with an air-cooled diffusion pump on it. Um, just pumping down a little tiny vacuum tube. I think this might have been one of the ones I used as the uh, quote-unquote particle accelerator. Anyway, um, so there is a ballast. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the plasma on. All right, so we can see the plasma there, and we are going to check for x-rays first. Probably aren't really hearing anything. That's because the pressure is too high. So what I'm gonna do very carefully pray to God that that pancake probe doesn't fall off. And I am going to plug in the ballast uh, lockout or whatever it is. Hang on one second. Okay, so now it's plugged in. You can see the plasma clearly getting to a lower pressure. We have the electron beam starting to extend. I realize I should be filming this at night, or in the dark. You can see some fluorescence. So definitely a lot of x-rays on the butt end. Let's see, on my side, almost nothing. But once you get around to the back side, we are completely pegged. I'll switch this over to the 100,000 mark and place it. I'm, I'm not even close to it. That's like a huge amount of x-rays. It's literally uh, saturating the pancake probe, so I'm gonna go back to uh, 10x. Yeah, so we're definitely pegging. So not too much Bremstrong in my direction, thankfully, but as soon as I get to that backside where it's bouncing off the uh, aluminum, it pegs the meter out. So if anybody was curious, yes, there is significant radiation coming off of the little particle accelerator tube that I had in a previous video. Um, but the side view isn't too bad. You can even get pretty close to it without much damage. But as soon as you go around the backside, it starts just screaming. So, yeah. Hopefully I don't have cancer. <laughs>